All right. Spooky Lighting Ethan says, This is my shit. Way to get called out on Tim's Ethan by M. Doesn't matter. Long story short, a while ago I had sent a tweet to Greg um, about a particular line of uh, Facebook conversation, which you'll be able to see a little bit up here. Maybe not all of, maybe all of. Depends how long I talk. Uh, long story short, one person was saying to the other person, you know, like, why do people believe in God? And it's like, you know, well, you know, I can't prove it. And the other person's like, ah! right. So, um, I was thinking to myself, I see an awful lot of pithy nonsense put around about this sort of thing. And I would like to see somebody who explains themselves thoroughly, concisely, with a degree of confidence. And this is young Master Greg. Absolutely with no question in my mind, to explain my own views on this nonsense, because it is nonsense. There is no sense. To say that I believe in a god or gods or no god, all those three things, <laughs> no. Um, the only thing I can verifiably figure, or at least assume, or at least try to be able to explain, and this is what I generally live under the principle of, except when it comes to things I can't explain, is that we are magical sacks of chemicals and organs. They give us the wonderful, miraculous, and progressive ability to believe that we have a personality. Even though we are ostensibly the exact same thing, regardless of color or creed. Or gender. Now, uh, does this mean I don't believe in magic? Are we going to call it magic? I certainly am. Uh, no, it doesn't mean that at all. I am super, super agno. I've, I've come across an awful lot of things that I can't explain, and I've come across an awful lot of things that I seem to be able to. Doesn't mean that I actually can or can't, because I am an ant to someone else's significantly higher being. What the um, text that I got Greg to respond to comes down to for me is uh, something he brought up, that um, idea of verifiability. One person says to the other person, all mice are born with tails! And the other person's like, bullshit! And the other person says, yeah, well, prove that mice are born without tails! And the other person says, yeah, I'll do it! And so they go off on this long expanse of their own life trying to survey as many mice who are born as possible, just trying to figure out, okay, one of these guys is going to be born without a tail. Give me a mouse that's born without a tail. And like maybe over the next few weeks, maybe over the next few months, maybe over their entire lifetime, they're unable to find a mouse that is born without a tail. Person number one says like, you know, yeah, I told you so, I couldn't find one. The other person's like, yeah, it doesn't mean that it isn't coming around the corner. Stupid. Other person's just like, yeah, I'm pretty sure you had a big enough sample space. The other person's just like, sample space is all of reality and time. In the same way, there is no God. Prove it. Well, can't find one. Doesn't mean one's not coming. Okay, there is a God. Yeah, prove it. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Yeah, it's not coming. Other person says, doesn't mean it isn't coming. This is a fallacious argument that we can't actually go through to any point of completion. Um, in fact, the only thing that we can do is assumption and faith. Um, speaking with somebody who has appeared on Tim's, whose name is Cat, about the notion of faith. Faith in and of itself, regardless of what it is faith in, meh, to some limitations, is a positive thing in anybody's lifestyle. It gives you a reason not to think that you're just waking up to fall asleep. Um, which is a problem I've had. The idea of, why am I waking up when I'm just going to snooze at the end of the day? Why am I going to make money now just to see that money be depleted? But I'll tell you, when it comes to what I have faith in, I really do believe that all reality and time exists statically. Which is not to say that this is everything we have, but more along the idea that, and this is an example I've given to a few people, do you remember video cassette tapes? Imagine that the video cassette tape is all of reality and time, and we are the reader head in the VCR, right? Now, you might think that all reality and time is being passed across us, or we are moving along all of reality and time, but that is our perception of it. This is uh, the most that our animal can deal with, our animal, our magic sack of chemicals. And so, certainly, more time exists, and it all exists at once. Right? 
Um, in the same way, all of reality exists, and certainly maybe we can somehow access other parts of reality, but our reader head only goes across what our animal is capable of dealing with, right? We may think that we are higher or lesser animals for being able to deal with time and reality differently, but as it comes down to it, we're only able to access it as such. Now, this is why I say that we are an ant to another higher being, right? Doesn't mean that I'm capping myself of my own potentials, in a very Marxist sense. Um, it does mean, though, that I recognize that there's more beyond what I can perceive, and that I may not understand it until I'm that higher being. Which I may not be. Doesn't actually bother me that much. Often. This has been my shin.